Hello all you beautiful people and welcome to Quick Notes, a show where I take a small dive into any and everything, whether it involves art, science, math, technology, or history. Basically, if it exists in some way, shape, or form, I'll talk about it. Today we'll be looking at Arnold Bachlin's self-portrait with Death playing the fiddle. Got it? Ready? Let's go. Now, to understand the art, you got to get to know the artist as well. Basil, Switzerland, October 16th, 1827. The man soon to be known as Arnold Bachlin was born. Throughout his young life, Arnold had a great talent for drawing, so much so that he dropped out of high school and went straight into the Art Academy of Dusseldorf. First being more of a landscape painter, Arnold eventually married Angela Puscucci in 1853 and would have up to 10 individual children. Though not very financially wealthy, Arnold would continue his art career throughout his life. Eventually ditching landscape paintings, he came to do more symbolic and mythical artworks instead. As a result, he became more known for his unreal and dreamlike scenery paintings. But then, something tragic happened. One of Arnold's young daughters had died. Stricken by this event, it became evident that Arnold began to obsess over the idea of death. First thing to come out of this obsession was his now famous self-portrait with Death playing the fiddle. But you may be wondering, why is Death playing the fiddle? Well, there is a possible explanation for this. You see, around this time in the 1800s, the fiddle was deemed as evil. Reason being is because a violinist named Niccolo Paganini was rumored to be possessed by Satan himself, and as such, people put one and one together and saw the fiddle as the devil's instrument. It's with this context we can understand Arnold's obsession with Death as seen in his self-portrait. It's possible he didn't see Death as a good or even neutral entity. Given his experience with Death, he probably saw it as an evil being watching over a shoulder mocking him, playing a simple one note fiddle as he waits for more of Arnold's children to fall so eventually he can have a full tuned violin to play at the artist's grave. Oh boy did that take a dark turn, but that's it for today's episode. But before I end the video, I just wanted to thank our sponsor for this video, Professor Mac Rayner. You see, the reason I made this video was because I had to do research on an art piece for my western arts history class, and the self-portrait is what I ended up choosing. Now, I know I didn't give a lot of information about the art piece itself, and that's because of one simple reason. There wasn't enough information on it. What I was able to take up from this painting was very limited, so I had to work with what I had. There will be links down in the description to the sources I used, so just in case you want to check them out, they'll be right there. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next episode of Quick Notes.